Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Narset. I actually just pulled one about 10 minutes ago and I pulled a foil one which I traded away. I guess a lot of you will probably be asking, hey, what do you trade the foil Narset away for? I traded away for a Ugin, a Snapcaster Maids, a Fetchland, I think it was a Windswept Heath, but one of the less valuable Fetchlands and a Shawcon. I think that's it. So I traded away for about 90 bucks of... And before you guys say, oh, you probably traded away to a new guy. Nope, this guy is... He watches all my videos. I consider him a friend. We text with each other all the time. He is a... He's better at magic than I am. So he knows the value and right before he left, we I told him, hey, this card's gonna go down, but you already know that and I'm only trading it to you because I would never trade it to somebody who doesn't know that. That being said, about 10 minutes ago, I pulled another one and he's probably watching this video. And I kind of want to trade this one away too. Now, quite honestly, Narset is a card and it is a very good card. However, its price is too high right now. And when I mean its price is too high, I, jo I just don't see the price holding at what it currently is holding at because let's be honest, the set has one of the lowest expected values of any set. I believe it's like $74, under $74 when it was released. So if you purchased a box for a hundred bucks, you would on average get $74 back. To compare something like Cons of Tarkir, you would on average had gotten $125 of value back. So, that being said, the set's only valuable card above 20 bucks is this one. But the ability, how likely are you to pull this card? It's in one in every half case you get a card. If you're lucky, I think it's one in every um, 3.4 boxes or something, you can get a Narset. Uh, I don't know what the ratio is for foil Narsets, but I assume it's much, much higher. So the probability of getting this card is very low, and that's might be the one factor that keeps the card's price up, should it see extensive play. The card that this card is most aligned with is a Voice of Resurgence type of card. When you had Dragon Maze, Dragon Maze as a set was Probably as probably had even less value than uh, Dragons of Tarkir. But the problem with Dragons of Tarkir is you have something like Cons of Tarkir, which still has more value than Dragons of Tarkir even now, with all the excitement for Dragons of Tarkir and with all the price hikes, if you will. Narset, don't get me wrong, it is an awesome card. I love the card. I just will pick her up at a later time. So if I can trade this Narset away, I will. I did trade my foil Narset away and I couldn't be more happy about that decision. I mean, I got a Snap, a Ugin, a Sarkon, and a Fetchland. I believe that's 90 bucks retail for a card that is 90 bucks retail. And before you guys leave in the comments below, I trade with him all the time, all the time. And if the trade is lopsided one way or another, I will fix it. And I will see him at the game store probably Friday. And he's gonna buy a few boxes. Maybe I'll go over like what he's pulling and stuff. It's always fun. I actually have a lot of fun um, when the set is released and people will start buying boxes. That's a tremendous amount of fun. But if you're looking to buy a NAR set right now, her price is way over what it should be, but that being said, the only chance of her holding if she is as dominant of vo as Voice of Resurgence was, and as long as it was, then I could see the price being justified as of today. I don't feel like she will go down to, you know, Sarkon Dragon Speaker, I believe is 10 bucks now, and it was at 40 at one point. I don't feel like she will go down to 10, but easily to 20, 25. And if you need a playset, when you buy four of them, then you should just wait because her price will drop when more people open more of her. Very good card though, I love it. 